Hello there the customers, uh, we're in a network concepts mode at the moment and uh, we're moving on to a section that is entitled Minimal Spanning Trees. So let's have a look. A tree is a connected graph that contains no cycles, multiple edges or loops. So it's pretty basic. That's an example of a tree. So it's a network diagram that uh, joins up the vertices in a pretty basic way without any looping or uh, extra edges that don't need to be there. Now you'll notice a bit of a pattern here. A tree with, which has nine vertices has eight edges. A tree with six vertices has five edges. I think you can spot a pattern here. A tree with four vertices has three edges. So we could say that in algebra type language. A tree with n number of vertices has one less than that number of edges each time. So we can uh, expect that if we're counting the vertices and edges of a tree. Alrighty, now there's a special type of tree called a spanning tree. A spanning tree is a tree that connects all of the vertices of a graph. Okie dokie. So here's our basic graph and I'm going to show you two spanning trees from it. So spanning tree number one was created by going up there, across there, connecting vertices as we go. We're collecting E and we're collecting F. Now, if our uh, line, our green line that I made there, has collected all of the vertices, we don't need to necessarily go back to the beginning to create a spanning tree. And that's why, in that last slide, we saw that there are one less um, one less branches, did we say? Let's have a look. I'm going back. Yes, one less edge than there is vertices because we don't need that last edge to uh, be put in. We've already collected all the vertices. So that's one type of spanning tree. Now you can have different varieties of ways of collecting all the vertices on a diagram. So we'll, I'm going to show you a different one just to make the point that there are different ways to create a spanning tree. So if I'm going to do this in green again, if I go to from A to F to collect those two, then over to E, I can go up to D, I can go back and collect B from there and C from there. I've created a spanning tree that looks like a different shape, but I've collected all the vertices, which is the important thing for a spanning tree. It's got to, collect, uh, it's got to connect with all the vertices on a graph, and, uh, and it can be a bit less, um, less fancy than the original graph because not all of the edges need to be drawn in. So that's a, uh, a spanning tree and a basic tree. We're going to continue with minimal spanning trees in the next video. Exciting stuff.